guys, the Mossy Villain. Welcome to episode 6 of the Baseball Journeyman at the Berlin Flamingos in the German Baseball Bundesliga. And today we are playing the Alligators in a game of Bundesliga Baseball. It is a very, very important game as we look to chase uh, at least a record of 500. And I'll show you why in just a second. But we start with the All-Star game today. The fan voting final results. Uh, we did have a few players in the conversation. Byron Mills Jr., our catcher, was second in the voting there. Um, everything else. It remained relatively standard from where we left things off last episode. Uh, Roshek actually won the voting in center field. Now, considering he's no longer our center fielder, uh, that's very, very good of him. Um, and also, if we go down here to pitching, we had Abar fourth in the voting for starters, and Glatza uh, was third for relievers. So that was how the voting uh, ended up. Now, if you do, if you're on the Discord channel, you would have seen this earlier today. Um, but the lineups for the uh, for the for the All Star game, we had, I believe, it was three players. Abar got a call up into the All Star game. That was, of course, his first ever uh, All Star uh, selection. So well done to him. Um, we also had uh, going down the list here. We had Byron Mills. Get a call up. That was his second All Star. He was an All Star last year with the with the Flamingos as well. Uh, so well deserved from him. And the other All Star that we had was of course uh, Roshek. Uh, it's a second All Star call up for him as well. So excellent stuff for our three uh, Flamingos that found themselves in the All Star game. How did the All Star game go? I hear you ask. Well. It went okay if you're in the Nord Division, which we are, because we won the uh, the All-Star game 5-4. to four. You can see three runs in the last three innings there to get the job done. Uh, Roshek started in center field, didn't do too much. Um, he struck out twice, as a matter of fact, so he did very, very little. Uh, our other boys, uh, Mills Jr., came off, uh, well, came off the bench, I suppose. He was a pinch hitter. Uh, he went one for two with an RBI, so important late uh, innings hit for him. Uh, and in terms of Abar, he did get some action. Um, he pitched one innings in the third innings, gave up a run. Um, it might have been a home run, was it? No, just the one hit for one run, though. And, uh, yeah, so that was that was him uh, or his all-star game. So the important thing is our division won, so we're not going to make the playoffs. But if we were, um, we would have, uh, have, I'm assuming, have home ground advantage if that's the way it's going to work in this division as well. Now, to catch you up on how things have gone since last episode, uh, we'll start you back here at the home screen. You can see the way everybody's going. Batting averages, it's the it's the, the same guys that are doing the job for us. Roshek, uh, batting over 400. Pride and Aldrich up there as well. Uh, we don't have any new injuries, which is a nice bonus. Um, and uh, yeah, that everything else there you can see. Let's have a look at the schedule. Uh, and you can see here that first game after the All-Star break, we lost a very, very narrow one to the Bond Capitals. And this was a really decent effort from us. Um, we lost 5-3, yes. But what we did here is against their starter, who's an absolute gun, I actually went with, um, with Antigua. He did okay. Five innings pitch, four earned runs against one of the, the best team in the in the division, arguably. Um, you can see their guy went five, gave up nothing. Uh, and the, the bullpen did okay for us. Glatzer and French Fries came in, only gave up one run from three innings. Uh, and we did, yeah, like I say, we stayed in the game. We got ourselves back in, in the sixth innings with three runs. Um, and we just, did, we weren't quite good enough. Uh, but if we have a look at the next game, we were certainly good enough in this one. Absolutely destroyed the Bond Capitals. And I don't know where this came from. We were magnificent with bat and ball. Uh, five runs in the first, eight runs in the fifth, and 15 to three, a beating on the 13 and five Bond Capitals. Um, the stars, I mean, everyone was a star in this one. Roshek was four for five, though, with four RBIs, which was brilliant. Um, you can see pretty much everybody got involved uh, with just nice home runs from Reichert and from Roshek. Uh, and if we go and have a look at the pitching side of things, Abar, 6.2 innings, giving up three runs. Bronkhorst came in and did really well for his 2.1 innings pitched. Um, we destroyed them. Absolutely destroyed them, which you love to see. Then we played game one of this Alligator series. And again, absolute just domination by our uh, Flamingos. Are we finding a little bit of late season form here? Uh, five runs in the fifth, seven runs in the eighth after they got themselves back into it in the seventh there with four runs. Um, now, about that four runs, it was a grand slam, and Bronkhorst, if we go and have it, we'll come back to the hitting in just a second, because it was superb, but Bronkhorst, you'll see there's one out, four earned runs, 
He basically came in, walked the bases loaded, as you can see there from the three walks, and then gave up a grand slam. It was the most despicable play of pitching I think I've seen in a long, long time. But otherwise, we were quite good about it with the with the ball. But look at this hitting. Roshek hit five, which uh, was a new uh, a new club record. Five hits for him went five for six. Um, Kowals, uh, Kowals, Kowale got there in the end, whose bat has suddenly lit up, was four for five with two RBIs. Van Mincel, um, we're going to try and say his name correctly, was three for five. Nick Wagner went three for five with five RBIs. Um, again, everybody got involved, uh, which was amazing. And we did that without hitting any home runs. It was just good old-fashioned hit the ball, run the base as well, and score as many runs as you can. So that all puts us in a decent position here in the league now where we're one game off of 500. The Alligators are at 500. So are the Dortmund Wanderers, and they have played an extra series to us. Um, so if we can win this, I don't think the playoffs are possible for us this year. We're five and a half games back of the Bond Capitals. Now, even though we've beaten them... Um, I don't think it's going to happen, mostly because we've still got to play the Untouchables again as well, and they are looking, as their name would suggest, untouchable right now. Uh, but anyway, that's where we stand. A quick look at everybody's numbers for the year, because I know that you guys like to have a look at this from time to time. Um, that's the pitching side of things. Um, yeah, I mean, Abar's a star. Everybody else, I tell you who's a bit quiet achiever is Dominic Werner. Only pitched 6.1 innings, but yet to give up an earned run, which is quite good. Um... But yeah, that's the that's the pitching side of things. It is what it is for this season. We've just got to deal with it. Uh, and lineups in terms of hitting, uh, everybody is starting to get themselves going, which is really, really good. Uh, Rochek's on fire. Pape is in a bit of a slump, but he's more of a defensive player for us in any case. Uh, and Kowale's the big one. He is just absolutely starting to light the league up, which is brilliant. He's actually, look at that, almost... Uh, only one run off of Roshek for most RBIs now, which is amazing, amazing stuff. All right, let's have a look at the lineup we're sending out for game two of this series against uh, the Soligen Alligators. And this is it. Roshek goes uh, leadoff. He's a designated hitter. It's uh, Prade batting second in right field. Mills Jr., the catcher, bats third. Kowale cleans up. He's back on fire, and so he's back in the lineup higher up the order. Van Mincel, uh, he bats five in center field. It is Aldrich. Denny Aldrich batting six in left field. Nick Wagner in form. Uh, he bats seven. He's in left. He's at third base, sorry. David Reshek at second base bats eight. Pape, the shortstop, bats nine. And Adrian Abar takes the mound for us today. He's up against Wolfgang Berger. Love the name. Oh, dear. I tell you what. ERA of 12.15. Whip of 345. Uh, a war of negative two. Um, we might be up for a sweep here. A bar against him. Uh, the pitching in this league at times is absolutely woefully bad, isn't it? Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. This would be It would be a good series to sweep. We, we did, uh, I think they won one of the two games against us when we played at their place. Uh, but now that we're uh, now that we're playing at home, I mean, we saw what we did to the Bond Capitals at home. Kowale is going on a bit of walkabout there. Um, and that's not the start we wanted as uh, Medina sends it to the fence and that will be a leadoff double for the Alligators' leadoff man. Hopefully, that's the low point. What we don't want is to uh, find ourselves giving up a silly early runs here. Brings up Wolf to bat, batting 267 this season. First pitch swing from him, that's been popped up. Kowale should make a simple catch, or is it going to be Roshek? He calls him off it, and that's one away. Runner stays at second, and it brings up Valenzo uh, to bat, the first baseman, batting 333 this year. Two and two's the count. Abar. Pop-up should be a simple catch out there. Left field, that is Denny Aldrich, isn't it? Makes the play. Runner stays at second for two away. All right, Sanchez comes in now, batting 290 this year. One and two's the count on the designated hit-up. Abar finishes the innings with a strikeout. Just the one hit, nothing else to write about. And let's see what we can do to Wolfgang Berger. It's Roshek who's batting 405 this season. One and one's the count on our leadoff man. Come on, boys, come on. Roshak gets it through the left side of the infield, and that will be a leadoff single for our leadoff man. And we know he's rapid. He steals bases for fun. He has 17 already this season. Prade comes in the bat, batting 333. Full count. Prade pops it up, and that will be the first out of the first. Is Roshak going to be able to get himself to second? No, he thinks better of it. Stays at first, and it brings up Byron Mills, who's batting 412 this season. I am shocked that Roshek is still standing at first. That's been popped up. Left field's going to have another catch out there. That's going to be two away. 
And surely now, Roshak will steal as Jimmy Kowale comes in, batting 265 this season. 1 and 0 is the count. Kowale back up the middle. And it's going to drop in. If Roshak had stolen second like I thought he should have, he would have scored on that play. But he gets himself to third anyway. Two out runners at the corners for Van Meensel. Uh, he is batting 421 this season. They've tried to pick off Kowale. It hasn't worked. And Roshak, show yourself home, mate. Oh, there we go. We're going to go eventually. And Roshak does steal as uh, Kowale gets himself to second. We take the lead. And let's see if Van Meensel can double it for us. He has got it back up the middle. Is Kowale quick enough to score? I don't know if he is. He is staying at third. But another two out hit. Runners at the corner still for Denny Aldrich, who's batting 324 this season. Aldrich gets it through the right side of the infield. Kowale comes in to score. We're looking for third. Not even close as Van Meensel gets himself thrown out. But... We take the lead, which is fine. We're 2-0 up after the first, and it is Abar going back to work to face Hartman, who is batting 224 this year. A first pitch swing from him. And that is down towards third base. Does Nick Wagner have a play? He does. I tell you what, that's a good play from Wagner, isn't it? Excellent stuff for the first out. Abar now to face Mats, this guy, uh, batting 238. One and two is the count. Abar strikes him out. That's two away. And it brings up Burgo, who's batting 128 this season. Two and two is the count. Two out, no one on. And Abar, it's a pop-up. It should be caught out there by Van Meensel. Camps underneath it, makes the play. And that is the end of the top of the second. No runs, no hits, no errors. And it's Nick Wagner to lead us off, batting 250 up against the Burger. Wagner. Back up the middle. Should be a simple catch for center field as he comes in. And that will be one away. Next up, it is Reschertz, who is batting 237 this season. First pitch swing from our second baseman. He has hit it well. Center field's going back. It is over his head. Stays in the park. And Reschertz will find himself at second. A one-out double for the second baseman. And it's going to bring up Pape now, the shortstop. And let's see if he can drive in a run here. He has three RBIs already this season. Only batting 206 and in a slump. It's going to be a first pitch swing. Pape. It's a swinging bunt back to the pitcher. And that is no use to anybody. And that's two away. Roshek now with a chance to extend the lead. One for one today. Two and one's the count. Roshek all over that pitch. Into center field. Can it score the run? No, it cannot. He stops at third. And it's two out runners at the corners. I feel like that's all I've been saying today. Prade 0 for 1. Can he drive in a run? Two and two's been hit. Oh, it didn't even look like being anywhere near the strike zone. Bases loaded. And Prade's injured on the play. Looks at his knee. It's not serious. He can stay in. Fantastic. Byron Mills Jr. now. 0 for 1 today. Can he do something wonderful with loaded bases? He has got to back up the middle. That's going to score one. Roshek's quick. It might score two. It does. Byron Mills with a two RBI single. Extends the lead to four. And it's going to bring up Jimmy Kowale now, who is one for one today. What can he do with two out? Two on. Kowale, first pitch swing. He grounds at the shortstop. Easy play at second. Oh, they've dropped it. Oh, the alligators are falling to pieces. Loaded bases again for Van Mintzel. He is one for one today. Three and one's the count. Are they going to walk in a run? They are. Van Mintzel gets the walk. It's 5 nothing now, and surely Berger can't be long for this game as Aldrich comes in. 1 for 1 today. Owen oh, wins the count. Aldrich drives it into right field. That's going to score another 2, I think. 1's across the plate. No, he holds it 3rd. Does uh, Kowale. And that is 6 nothing. Still 2 out. Still loaded bases. It is Nick Wagner to the plate, who's 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2's the count. Wagner... Pops it up into right field, and that'll do it for the second. But we extend the lead by four. We're 6 nothing up. And with the sort of form that Abar appears to be in, you'd like to think this game's going to go well for us. Gill comes up to bat. Two-something he's batting. 218, I think it was. Full count. He drives it into center field. Van Minsel is there and makes a play, and that is one away. Ramiro comes up to bat. Now their shortstop batting 0.82 this season. End in a slump. Two and two's the count. And that is a strikeout. 
Two away. Lead-off man comes back up. Medina, who is on fire for them. One for one and looks to be their only hitter in the team, really, doesn't he? What can Abar do with him? 0 and two's the count. Finish him, Abar. He does. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. And they remain scoreless through three. Reshirt comes up to bat. He is one for one today. Three and one's the count. He has got it back up the middle and he gets himself a hit. Lead-off man aboard. Let's see what Pape can do. He's 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Pape gets into a double play. Oh, it's a double Pape. Not good. And that cleans the bases. And it's Roshak. And are we going to not score a run in innings here? 2 for 2 he is. 2 and 0 is the count. Reshak up the middle. That's going to be is it over. It is over. That's going to be a third hit of the game for him. He is absolutely smashing at the pieces lately. He's had, I think, five hits, four hits, and he's already got three in this one. Prade now, who's 0 for 1, got hit last time out. There goes Roshak with the steal. Gets there comfortably. 18 stolen bases for him this season now. Let's see if Prade can drive in a run. 3 and 1, and he walks. We're loving a two-out rally today, aren't we? Berger now to face Mills, who's 1 for 2. Already with two RBIs today. First pitch swing. Is Roshak going to go for third? No, he's not, but Mills is going to drive it into right field, and that should score Roshak from second. It does. We are going to score a run in the third. Mills with the RBI single. Still two out. Runners at first and second. Kowole to the plate, who is one for two today. Two and two. Kowole gets it into center field, and that's going to score another one, is it? The runner turns and goes home, and it's Prade scoring another RBI single for Kowole. 8 nil in the third. What's the record score? That's it for uh, Berger. Goldman comes on. Uh, he doesn't look too much better if we're looking over here, does he? Let's go and have a look at him. Yeah, he looks rubbish. All right. Let's see what Ben Mincel can do with him. One and two's the count. And he has struck out to end the third. But we extend the lead to eight to zero. Abar to continue to uh, wolf. And Benteki Wolf, let's see what he can do. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 and 2 the count. Have him, Abar. Pops it up. Should be caught out there by Prade. Comes around, camps underneath it, and there we go. That is one away. It's Abar now to Valetsko. Full count. One out. No one on. Ground ball to second base. Reshirt has it over to first, and that's two away. Let's see what Sanchez can do. He's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2 is the count. Have him, Adrian. Have him. Inside pitch. Strikes him out. And that'll do it for the top of the fourth. Still only the one hit. You wonder if he's going to uh, regret that hit. It's, are we talking otherwise? It's a perfect game. No hitter territory. Strike out to get things underway there for... Who was that? Aldrich. Wagner comes in now. Goldman is looking a little bit better than his attributes. Only an ERA of 270. So obviously not too bad. A uh, well-hit ball there, though, goes straight through shortstop. And I think, is that Reichert getting himself another hit? No, it's Wagner. Reichert comes in to hit now. He is two for two today. Has Goldman thrown himself out? Reichert grounds at the third base. That could be a double play. And no, it's just one. And with two out, again, we find ourselves in danger of not scoring a run. Pape to the plate, who's 0 for 2 and looked an absolute muppet. He gets hit. Might knock a bit of sense into him. That's uh, two on, two out for Roshak, who's three for three. Full count. Roshak walks. With two out, we've gone for to uh, loaded bases from no one on. Prade now, who's 0 for 1, with a chance to add runs. 2 and 0's the count. Prade. Oh, he's popped it up. We're not going to score anything in the fourth. That's outrageous. And that'll do it. Still 8 nothing. And it's going to be Hartman now to come in and face Abar. He is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Have him, Abar. There we go. Another strikeout. 1 away. 6 strikeouts now for Abar as Mataprechika comes in the bat. 1 and 2 is the count on him. Another strikeout for Abar. 2 away. Burgo comes up to bat. He is 0 for 1. 1 and 0 is the count. Abar is being driven into left center. Aldrich is coming around, should have a play, he does, and that'll do it for the top of the fifth. Still 8-0, still only one hit for them as well. It's Goldman to face Byron Mills, who is uh, two for three today. One and two's the count. And is he going to get himself a strikeout here? He is. I tell you what, Goldman has done okay, hasn't he? You can see the difference uh, why his ERA is only in sort of low twos now. Kowale comes in, he is two for three today. 3-0 is the count, and Kowale gets himself on base. 
Brings up Van Mincel, who is one for two. Another full count. Van Mincel watches strike three go around. It brings up Aldrich, who's two for three today. Aldrich, he's hit that. That looks like it might be out of here. Danny Aldrich. A two-run home run over the right field fence. That makes it double digits. 10-0 to the Flamingos. 389 feet over the right field fence. And Aldrich has himself a first home. I think it's a first home run of the season. Uh, it is a first home run of the season. So well done, Danny Aldrich. Wagner comes up to bat now. He is one for three. 0-2 oh, to the count. Two out, no one on. And Wagner... He's popped it up. Second base, oh sorry, shortstop goes back. And that'll do it for the fifth. But we extend the lead into double digits. And it's now going to be Avar to face Gill, who's 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. And it's another strikeout for Avar. 8 now for the game. Romario, no, Romario comes in. He is absolutely horrid with a bat. Full count. Don't walk him, Adrian. He has walked him. Oh, dude, he's the easy out. Brings up Medina, who is their main and only guy, I think. And he's hit him as well. Avar, come on, mate. I know it's easy, but you've got a chance to do a, a, a shot out here. Come on, mate. Wolf comes up to bat. He's 0 for 2. 2 on. Only the 1 out. 2 and 0's the count. That could be a double play. There's 1. Pape can't turn the double. 2 away. Runners at the corners. And it is Valenzo comes up to bat. He's 0 for 2. Big, big at bat this one if he wants a shot out. Come on, Adrian. It's down the third base line. Do we have a play? We get him at second, do we? No. And the run comes across the... Oh, we do get him. That must have been a close play. But the shutout is still on for Raybar. Goldman continues now to Reichert, who is two for three today and having a really, really good day at the plate. Owen wins the count. Reichert gets himself another base hit. That's going to roll to the fence. And it's possibly a double. Well, it is a double. Possibly a triple. Just a double as he stands up. Really, really good leadoff hit there for us. And it's going to be Pape now with a chance to continue things for us. 0 for 2 he is today. What is it? This game does not have good hitting shortstops. But he gets himself on base with a walk. We'll take it. Another new pitcher now as Lucas Wolf comes up. His ERA is 12.60. So we might be able to get a hold of this guy. Roshuk's going to be the first man he faces. 2 on. No one out. 0 and 1's the count. Roshuk pops it up for a brief second then. I thought... It had enough on it to get over the fence, but it wasn't even close in the end. It was a very, very regulation catch out there in left field for Prade now, who's 0 for 2. Not possibly our worst hitter today, Prade, and he strikes out again. Not had a good time of things. Byron Mills batting 2 for 4 today. First pitch swing from him. The catcher pops it up, and that'll do it. We don't score a run in the bottom of the sixth. We're still 10-0 up, though. The game is looking very, very safe for us indeed. And this is a team that's playing above us in, you know, in the records. They're a 500 team. Not after this game, I would suggest. Abar continues to Sanchez. Sanchez grounds at the puppy. That should be bread and breakfast for him. And there it is, one away. Brings up Hartman, who is 0 for 2 today. Let's see what Abar can do with him. First pitch swing. It is going to get itself in for a hit. Just the second hit of the game for the Alligators as it rolls out there to a Prade. He's uh, pitch 91. He needs to get through his work here if he wants this shutout. Matsapretza comes up to bat and he's hit him. Is he just starting to get tied? Two on, one out. Abar now to face Burgo, who's 0 for 2 today. Two and one's the count. That could be a double play. Kowale, there's one. Can he get it back? We can, but we can't get it back in time. We do get the man at second. Two away, runners at the corners. Abar to Gill, and this is again a huge at bat if he wants this shot out. First pitch, swing. They're looking for the steal. Can we mow him down? No, we cannot. So the runner goes to second. That's unimportant, though. Just get the man at the plate. Come on, Abar. That has... Let's go. Oh, there goes the shutout. That's going to score possibly two. Throw comes home. Not in time. And it's a two RBI single. The shutout is gone, and I wonder if that will do it for Abar now. He continues to Romari. No, I did that last time. Romero, who's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2's the count. Gets himself another strikeout. Is that 9 or 10 for the game? 9 for the game. That'll probably do it for Abar, I would imagine. We stretch, though. 10 2 up. We just want to be a little bit careful. We don't let things get away from us. We're pity hitting as Killen comes in to pinch hit. The backup catcher, of course. 0 for 1 as a pinch hit up. He has hit that down to third base, and that's uh, not going to get the job done. 
All right, it's Van Mintzel to continue now. He is one for three today. Two and O's the count. He has got it down towards third base, and that's another easy play at first for two away. And Wolf looks uh, looks better than his ERA. Tim Wagner comes in now to pinch hit. Let's see what he can do. That's Aldrich out of the game. He, of course, hit a home run, and that's a walk for Tim Wagner. His brother Nick comes up to bat now. I don't know if they're brothers or not. I'm assuming so. First pitch swing from Nick. He has grounded at the shortstop, and that's a disappointing uh, innings there for us. Two in a row. Scoreless now. What is this, Witchery? And Abar does continue to Medina, and you just worry a little bit for his, uh, his future here. This is, I think, where he's been misused in the past. He goes on a little bit too long. That's a strikeout number 10, so he's obviously not doing too badly, and that will do it as uh, Bronkhorst comes on to pitch to Wolf. Let's see what Wolf can do with the new man, Brunkhurst. I do love the name, Thies Brunkhurst. That's a strikeout. Nicely done, sir. Two away, no one on. Yeah, what's going to say with Abar is that he, his ERA is a little bit high because he does have a ha habit of being left on just a little bit too long and then just sort of leaking runs sort of in the, his seventh, eighth innings when we saw that kind of here as well. Um... It hasn't hurt us here, but in the past we've seen when we play sort of the, the better teams, it, it has hurt us. That's a ground out there for Reichertz, which is a shame because he was on a really good day otherwise. Pape, who is yet to get a hit today as well. Three and one to count on him. I tell you what, he's got a full few walks though, hasn't he? Gets himself on base again. Reichertz to continue now. He is three for four today. He slaps it into right field. Go on, Pape. That's going to get in. Is he going to get himself to third? He is not. He's going to stay at second. So two on, one out for Prade, who's 0 for 3. And having a very, very bad day at the plate, given the context of the game. Prade, he's going to go 0 for 4. What has happened to Prade today? He is batting. What's he batting for the season? 313 is usually so good. But not today. Mills Jr. comes in now. First pitch swing from him. He slaps it into right field. That's going to get down. Will it score? Pape, he's coming around. No, it loads the bases for Killen. What can he do with loaded bases? Two out. He's batting 241 for the year. 0 for 1 today, though. And has he got it through? He has. Killen with an RBI single. Is it going to score two? Roshek's coming home. It is. It's a two RBI single for Killen. Excellent stuff. Extends the lead to 12. That kills off any chance of a comeback, surely. Van Mincel comes up to bat now. Both catches on base. Three and one's the count with two out. He has slapped it into right field. And is that going to get Mills Jr. home? He is coming home and he is going to score. It's an RBI single for Mincel. 13 to 2. And let's see if we can get off that unlucky number as Tim Wagner continues. He's batting 263 for the year. Walk last time up. This time... He's launched into one, but unfortunately, he's got it about 200 yards up and only about 150 yards out. And that will end the uh, eighth innings. We extend our lead by three. It's 13 to two as we go into the ninth. Brunkhurst to start us off against uh, Sanchez. 0 and 2's the count. And Brunkhurst with a strikeout. Nice way to start things off. And it brings up Hartman now, who's one for three today. Another strikeout. I tell you what. When he's good, he's good. Unfortunately, it's just last time out, he walked the bases and then <laughs> gave up a grand slam. But it's Matsapritza. Two out, no one on. Full count. And he walks. There's an anticlimax for you. Why prolong the game, mate? Just somebody get out and end this. It's Bordeaux, who's 0 for 3. 1 and 0 is the count. That's been well hit to the fence. And it just might score a run, you know. Van Mensel is there. Gets it in. Runner is staying at third. So it's a two-out double. The Bronkhorst to continue to Gill, who's one for two already with the two RBIs today. You don't want to give up these runs, mate. It'll really hurt your ERA. Oh, and he strikes him out. That's how you finish a game of baseball. A stunning win by our Flamingos. So back-to-back -back demolitions of the Alligators. We move to 500. Uh, and if that's the way we're going to play for the rest of the season, then like I say, I don't think this year we're quite good enough to go with the Bond Capitals and the Untouchables. But... We're certainly going to be a chance to finish third in the division, and we should with uh, Hamburg, with uh, Cologne, with uh, the Wild Farmers, and the Wanderers still to come. We should be finishing at least 500 from that, shouldn't we? Even if you take the two losses against the Untouchables, um, you'd certainly fancy us, I think, to finish above 500. And that was the goal for this year, wasn't it? But that's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. Um, 
Who haven't we seen yet? We will be back for... We haven't... Is this... Is that the, that's the Wild Farmers, isn't it? And who's that? That's Dortmund Wanderers. Um, so do we... I wonder if we come back... If there's no chance of us making the playoffs, which I don't think there is, I don't see a sense in dragging this season out any longer than it has to. So what we might do then is we might come back for the final game of the season, unless it looks as though there's a chance we might be able to come back into playoff contention. Then maybe we'll come back before that if there's a bit of tension there. But I suspect it won't be. It'll be all about this series. So we'll come back for the final game of the season next uh, next episode. Until then, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.